Summer depression. Summer depression. Yeah! Hey everyone, it's Kay, and welcome to a completely different room in my, yes, very large, very big, yes, very pricey, lovely family household. I have a lot of siblings, step-siblings in fact, that live here. I have the privilege of transferring my little bod into different rooms in the house, which is what I've been doing to avoid myself going into an insane cycle of me just wanting to die on the inside from not actually having an active summer vacation. So today I present you with my summer favorites. All include clothes, some activities I've been involved in, and everything that I've been consuming on the internet. So, without further ado, let's go. Per usual, we're going to be starting off with clothing. And almost everything I'm going to be showing you today in terms of clothing is either thrifted or secondhand or hand-me-down. So, heck yeah, woo. Trying to be more sustainable. Yes. Trying to be more environmentally conscious because our earth is literally overheating. Yeah. First we have Exhibit A, my body, and this blazer and t-shirt. I bought this blazer at a Goodwill. To be honest, Goodwill is underrated. Goodwill bins. It's one of my favorite places to get thrifted clothing because let's be honest, do any of us have the money or the finances to go to Reformation, to go to Zara? No. I'm not paying $280 for a pair of jeans that I can get for maybe $30 from a Goodwill, right? <laughs> this blazer is very comfortable, but it's also form-fitting, so it kind of feels like that pre-professional corporate American environment that we all try to be, because I'm sure most of the demographic of my channel are college students or high school students, and if y'all are not preparing to go into a career-oriented job, I don't even know what life is anymore. The next item we have are these little stretchy jean pants or whatever you like to call them, but they're not sweatpants. I think we all know at this point that because of Zoom University, we all like to feel comfortable. We don't wanna go out feeling tight, feeling restricted, especially when we have to go back to school and it's just gonna be a very interesting experience seeing people in person actually having to put effort into your appearance. That is not something that I am quote unquote looking forward to, especially since I did practically this whole entire semester of my freshman year virtually. So these pants have a very nice elastic band, which I'm sure we all know that I love dearly. The elastic band, of course, is what caught my eye as in any sort of pants that aren't jeans. If they're really flexible, it's really nice to walk around in. You can wear them in the house and not feel uncomfortable. You can go to school with them, you know, being comfortable, but it also looks like that you put time and effort into your appearance and you look together. They're kind of scrunched on the bottom, which I kind of find unique. It adds a little bit of a two-tone layered look. The next item we have is not really summer wear. I mean, it's a sweater. How stupid of me to buy a sweater in summer. Yes, it's from Goodwill Bins, like everything in this whole entire clothing section of the video. This sweater is extremely cozy. It's not too baggy, but it's also not too form-fitting, which for me, I definitely like oversized sweaters. Oversized clothing is definitely some of my favorite things to wear. I feel like especially with the Y2K age right now, everyone loves form-fitting clothing and that early 2000s look, but I always think that an oversized baggy fit should not be underestimated because it can be pulled off not only as lazy, but it can also be looked sophisticated. I got a bucket hat. Yay, Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender. He is my safe place. I was very mad at myself that I didn't watch Avatar The Last Airbender in quarantine. I watched it last winter. I mean, I watched it before, but when I rewatched it and like really understood the storyline, it hit home. Appa? actually is my favorite character. Sorry, Zuko. We love you. You are immaculate. But to be honest, Appa is just a king. He is a boss. I'm sure that I don't want to get dragged into the dirt. So we're just going to leave it at that. This bucket hat is really comfortable to wear. Usually when I find bucket hats, they're kind of restricting on my head, which I need that airy feel, especially when I'm walking outside. It keeps myself 
orderly, especially if I forgot to comb my hair that day, or I had a hair malfunction that just went completely wrong, which you might be like, how do you have a hair malfunction, okay? Your hair is like non-existent. All you gotta do is what? Brush it? and it's good. I had an issue with my razor when I was cutting my hair because when I'm in school, I don't want to go to a barber shop and pay 20 or $30 to do something that I literally can do myself. Like my brothers are barbers. I have that in my bloodline. I have it in myself, so I'm going to do it. And my razor stopped working on me when I was like half cutting my head. I'm not going to show video or anything, but oh, it was terrible. I had to wear this bucket hat and it kept my head completely covered. So, little slice of pie for you there. That bucket hat, the Oppa one, protected me from public shaming at my university. Another pair of pants. Do we see the pattern here? This color of brown has been really trendy lately, especially on TikTok. I've seen a lot of influencers wearing it. Brown is just such a cool color. I'm brown if you, you couldn't tell. So brown would of course compliment me and I would be a complete monochromatic look. Get it? <laughs> the pants are really long and lengthy, but they don't go all the way to my feet. So I really like rolling them up or sometimes I pin them. We got a blazer. I mean, at this point, this is just revealing the fact that I just love 80s shoulder pads, which who doesn't? I love 80s and 90s inspired looks. Oh my goodness. I mean, the silhouettes, the vibes. Oh my goodness. It's just so beautiful and it gets me going. This one in particular makes me look like I'm a businessman. I love walking around in this look, especially with my dark brown pants that I showed you guys earlier. I just feel really cool and sophisticated. I feel like I can ace a job interview, which I did because this was, I think, the exact outfit that I wore for one of my job interviews and I got the job. <laughs> I got a cardigan for y'all. Now, don't come for me. Don't come for me. Cardigans are just for girls. No, they're not. Grow up, live. I hate when people like to be so sexist that anything that resembles anything feminine when a man wears it is always just dissed on upon society. And I don't know if that's just like cultural pressure from my parents or just how I grew up in or from school, but I always was just pushed aside to not wear quote unquote feminine clothing. And not like I'm gonna wear a dress or anything, but like I love wearing cardigans. I don't mind wearing bright colors. I I don't mind the color pink, which I still don't understand why some people think the color pink is just a girl color and then there's boy colors and I'm just like, no, no, we're, we're mo we moved past this. Next, I bought a very cheap crochet kit from Amazon. And let's just say that I'm probably gonna have to buy a completely new set of crochet hooks because the crochet hooks and the yarn in this bag. No, thank you, no, thank you. Did not work well at all, yes. I am victim to crochet TikTok and YouTube. I will show a couple of my crochet TikTok icons on the screen. They are so beautiful. The crochet moms had my back. I thought I was gonna be able to crochet an entire sweater or maybe even a hat in like the whole summer that I was here. Let's just say that I have just now started learning how to do chains. So, Unfortunately, there is not gonna be a sweater by the end of the summer that I was hoping to do. A crochet is something that I'm really actually interested in and I wanna get better at it. I would love to be able to like crochet a scarf, you make like a hat or maybe even a t-shirt. Like I wanna be able to make a full outfit from scratch myself. That's like one of my life goals. And I really wanna start being more sustainable with my purchases. I wanna be able to support more small businesses because they need that support. Now we're gonna tap on to media. To be honest, this is gonna be my favorite section because all I do is scroll on my tablet, scroll on my phone, go on my computer, and waste a lot of hours. Speaking of wasting a lot of hours, I have been getting myself super invested in webtoons. The storylines of webtoons hurt 
they pierce my heart. They're just so beautiful. They have timeless concepts. They're so innovative and so colorful. The animation styles of some of these webtoons, whoo, light years ahead of some people. <coughs> American animation. That doesn't really appeal to me anymore. Webtoons have been super great. It's free, which you know we always love free. But a few webtoons that I've been personally loving is my deepest secret. Oh my God. It's a thriller romance-esque webtoon. It's really cool. I actually feel like the characters and the storyline is actually pretty relatable. Basically talks about this girl named Emma who goes to university and she has pretty much the perfect boyfriend. Elios, he's tall, has glasses, works in a cafe. You know, he's just what every girl wants in life. And then Emma, in the first day of her returning back to school, the professor was, um, a pervert and wanted to sexually assault her. But of course she's strong and she's willed, so she went pow, 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 and yanked him out of there. We love a strong, powerful woman, don't we ladies? Men too, appreciate it. Appreciate it. And then there is this detective guy who's studying, I think he's studying law or criminology or something. I'm not really sure. I think it's something opposite of his major. He basically can suss out anything. He's able to suss out if people did anything wrong. There's this scene where the policeman committed a crime and he like sussed it out completely and actually found the right person for it. And of course, lo and behold, Johan and Emma meet and co-mingle with each other. Emma at first, I think really hated this guy, but of course, Johan, even though he was like a detective and he was like by himself, he's like kind of the sweetest person ever. I'm not gonna spoil or anything, but oh, it's so good. And I'm telling you, the season two finale will shock you beyond compare. Okay, so this one is what I'm currently reading right now. I'm reading Midnight Poppy Land. Yes, I think we have established that I am lonely. I am a lonely man. I serve and thrive on romanticizing other people's relationships. It's a problem and I definitely need help. But that's the first step to recovery, my dudes. This story is about a girl named Poppy who got cheated on by her boyfriend. You know, what a great way to start a show. She meets this guy named Tora. He's like this strong, angsty man who worked for the mafia, really tall, has tattoos everywhere. Like, oh my gosh, he's like buff king and every girl would like go, ah, if he wasn't crazy because he's kind of crazy he can kill people in like two seconds and it has like that angsty and happy it's so cute and the animation style is so beautiful i love the animators who did this webtoon the webtoon is just beautiful oh my god i could talk about that one for hours now let's talk about something that i love anime i can make a whole entire video on just anime alone my friends but i'm gonna tell y'all three animes today. The first one is Jujutsu Kaisen, the one that I'm actually watching right now. I don't know why I was procrastinating watching this show. This show is amazing. It tells the story of Itadori Yuji, who is becoming a jujitsu, of course, normal shoujo action anime. This guy is a normal dude and then becomes an ultra powerful animated creature that like literally can pound and shoot everyone. He gets taught by a teacher. You know, he learns and grows and the teacher's shocked and it's like whoa oh my gosh ah and now I'm on the scene where they have an exam that they're doing of course like Hunter Hunter Naruto fairy tale exams are gonna exist basically all of them want to kill Itadori Yuji because he is the vessel of Sukuna a demonic horrific antagonist character that just wants to kill everything but honestly this antagonist actually has substance to him he's not just someone that wants to kill people for no reason you actually can see like his inner thoughts, his heart, not like what he's gone through or anything, but he has a lot more substance than just being a character who's just like, ugh. I just hate life and hate everything and I'm just gonna kill because I love it. I hate shows like that and how antagonists can be so narrow-minded. 10 out of 10 recommend Demon Slayer. Staying in the demonic cycle. Probably should not be saying this too much out loud because I am a Christian. It is kind of similar to Jujutsu Kaisen, but kind of not. It's about this guy named Tanjiro. He lives in the forest with his family until demons ended up killing his family and his little sister was the only one that was able to live, but of course, 
course, there's gotta be a plot twist. Nezuko is a demon. The higher up, I totally forgot this guy's name. I'm kind of bad with names during the anime. He comes in and literally tries to kill her because he's a part of the association that is supposed to kill demons. And of course, she's a demon. So what does he do? Wants to chop her head off. Tanjiro, literally being mentally shocked, is like, um, no, she won't hurt anybody. I'll protect her. She's my only family that I had left. And he goes training and there's this guy named Muzan who's like the big antagonist. And oh my, oh my God. Season two comes out in October. But if anyone's a Demon Slayer fan, who is your favorite character? I, I love Nezuko. Nezuko's my favorite. I just love her vibe. She's just just a beautiful little girl. I love her. Yay, we are reaching the end of this video. This video is probably gonna be really, really long. I am sorry about that. You just gotta hear me blabber and blabber minutes and hours on end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I try not to do too many sit down videos because I feel like no one wants to hear me talk for like 15, 20 minutes on pointless stuff that I guess no one really wants to watch, but if you guys enjoyed this video, you know the drill, please do it. I would love y'all's support, and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.